bright it is outside it's 2 46 p.m um i haven't really been doing anything today I made a cup of coffee this morning but it's all melted so that's always fun this is tokyo from nespresso it's really good 10 out of 10 would recommend and i haven't been doing anything i've been tabbing norwegian wood i've been tabbing so basically what i like to do is I like to do a read through or something just kind of like a a read through of like it once and then I go back again and I tab any parts where I find interesting and Norwegian Wood I'm I've only been rereading it to chapter at the end of chapter three and I'm already running out of yellow tabs um I did Great Gatsby yesterday and I ran out of pink tabs so after I'm done with this we're gonna move on to the big boy I'm not sure if it's 1Q84 or 1Q84 I know that it's supposed to be a uh, rendition of 1984 because it's like another dystopian so it's supposed to hint to 1984 which is one of the most iconic dystopians in history after this i ordered a war and peace and it's gonna come and it's gonna be really fun time i've dwelled a little bit into war and peace with kind of reading critical reviews and everything but i haven't really read the story like the deep deep story so I'm very excited for War and Peace. Yeah, so I'll probably be retabbing this throughout the rest of the day. And I'll be doing some other things as well, like other work, history, psychology, English, all that jazz. And you might see, you might not, who knows. with an analytical mind because 
pretty fun and that's the best way to read something. I think it's fun to read it at first with kind of an open mind and kind of not really thinking of anything, just letting the story take you where it wants to take you and letting the emotions drive you there. But I think reading something, and it's extremely powerful reading something that way also because it is how men, how I'm not working right now. It's how books are meant to be read. It's for the emotion. Oh my god, my eyes. The emotions to drive you somewhere because it's written that way for you to feel an emotion or to think one or the other. And I think it's beautiful to read books that way, but I think also to take in look at it from a completely different analytical light is also beautiful and I also I think I prefer that personally but I think it's really up to the person so yeah I'm gonna go have a shower now and hear me very tired <laughs> if you can't tell how much I enjoyed it because that's how much I enjoyed it towards the end I just got crazy with my analysis and my what I was thinking about it really is an amazing book I it's a it's a 10 it's no not a 10 I would say it's a 8 out of 10 read because I feel like a 10 would have to be like something mind blowing wow just wow so good read it. This is a spoiler. If any of you have not read it. Gripping the receiver, I raised my head and turned to see what lay beyond the phone box. Where was I now? I had no idea. No idea at all. Where was this place? All that flashed into my eyes were the countless shapes of people walking by to nowhere. Again and again, I called out from Midori from the dead center of this place. That was no place. <laughs> 